I think if you step out of our college here and, and step across campus, you'll see the Memorial Fountain, the John Marshall statue in Old Main, and I think we're really part of a university that honors its past very, very well. I was dean of the College of Business for almost 10 years and have taught at Marshall University for more than 44 years. When I became dean, we had really no furniture in the building. It was all surplus furniture from uh, uh, army surplus or from old dormitories and what have you. Our faculty was scattered all over campus. As we grew out of the College of Arts and Science and became a school of business and then a college of business, the growth in the last 10 years has been miraculous. You know, when I look at the history of this college, the thing that I'm most proud of for the Lewis College of Business is its alumni. Just the number of alumni who have made an impact in different spheres of activity, you know, from large companies to small companies all around the country and around the world, in fact. Many of them have become successful entrepreneurs. Many of them have become, you know, the governor of the state is a Marshall Business alum. You're looking at Brad Smith and you're looking at the first woman CEO of a Fortune 500 company. And there are examples after examples of these successful alumni that have come out. And, and if you look at the collective impact, it is pretty significant. So I think uh, the, the biggest success of this college has been in believing in our students, uh, getting them ready to work and contribute to the industry, and making an impact in whatever they're doing over the long run. The Lewis College of Business is evolving in multiple ways. It's all about innovation, engagement, and impact. Uh, we are reaching out to the community. We are getting more research output in the college. We are now a research to university as a, as, a, as a university. And again, the Lewis College of Business has a big role to play in it. We have created a new center for entrepreneurship and innovation called the I Center. The I Center is an outreach center that is, its mission is, to, is focused on inspiring and empowering the inner entrepreneur and everyone. You know, our college of business, we teach entrepreneurship and innovation to our students, but the I Center is focusing on taking that information and spreading it out to um, all of West Virginia. We are equipping our students with, uh, with various different options in terms of you know, new curriculum, for example. We are bringing in more industry speakers into our classes. We are getting our class to different companies on visits. Uh, and we are really engaging with our advisory board. Our advisory board of the College of Business is very well developed, and it has got some people who have real connections with the industry, and they're bringing it back to the classroom. We need to keep building on that legacy that, that you know, we are a great school, we've been a great school, we're going to be a great school in the future, an even greater school in the future. And it's important to instill that sense of pride in both the faculty and the students that they're really part of something very, very big here. The school has changed quite a bit in the last three or four years, I would say, um, with Dean Abbey coming aboard. Uh, we've really focused on building partnerships um, outside of the halls of Corbley, um, really focusing on what can we do in Huntington, what can we do in Southern West Virginia, what can we do in West Virginia, and then even beyond the borders of West Virginia, how can we partner with um, companies that have best practices, what can we learn from them and bring it back to our students so our students and the community can um, use the same tools to push West Virginia forward into the next 10, 20 years. The College of Business is, is at a pivotal moment in its life right now. You know, 50 years of outstanding success has paved the way to a whole new future for the college in terms of the next 50 and beyond. And what we are looking forward is to work with the community and making a real difference in the state and in the region. So I think Marshall is embedded in the state. Marshall is extremely well tied to its alumni. And we are a university that is really without boundaries.